All right, we'll start this one off. I actually came out here today because I came out to play, and then I came across this guy here, and he was just slinging these things, doing that side throw. What is the term for that anyway? I'm bad with terminology. It's, it's a forehand throw. Forehand yeah, throw. Yeah, you have your forehand throw and your back. Would you mind throw. demonstrating right here? Yeah. Kind of what it looks like? Basically, just just basically just a straight forehand throw. Okay. Just kind of whip. Perfect. Yeah, that's the one I'm trying to learn because it seems to be the most dominant driving force in any kind of throw I've seen. Even when they get close, they seem to do that too. Yeah, so, you can uh, get a lot of power in those throws. I have much better uh, forehand than I do a backhand. Uh, how you doing? I'm Scott. Just started playing disc golf. How did you get to interest? So how did you even find out? Like how I was aware disc golf actually was because of my father. Right. I may have seen the course. I didn't know what disc golf was. I literally didn't. I didn't even know what those baskets were for. I'm like, that's strange, you know. And then eventually you find out what it is. But how? what was your introduction again? Yeah, I was. Uh, I have a lady friend of mine that her son uh, has played the game and um, invited me out to play one day. My, like I said, my first game was at uh, Sawmill in Ocala. And I just went out and I'm thinking, well, wow, what is what is this game all about, right? And I was like, well, I used to be able to throw a Frisbee. And when I went out and played with them and the way I threw it versus the way I throw it today is, is totally different. But I enjoyed it. I was like, well, it was it was a great time. I didn't have that great of a game, but I enjoyed being out in the outdoors and walking through the wood atmosphere, getting to exercise. And it just felt good after the game i i really uh i got done playing and i was like wow that was that was good exercise not only was it a good exercise i like i i literally just wanted to come back the following day and uh i waited a couple weeks and then after that i came back and i just started playing here at jonesville and like i'm trying to make this like a morning routine coming out and just making this a part of my daily exercise I may not play the best some days, but I'm out here and I'm at least walking the course. So how did you acquire your first set of like discs to play? Yeah, I actually just went to Dick's Sporting Good and just bought a starter kit. I uh, just bought a little starter kit, came with three three discs. Uh, I had a putter, a mid-range, and like a, like a driver. And uh, I played with that for the first month and a half. And now I've kind of gone to some of the champion plastics. I just bought a few of halo plastics today and that's what i was out here throwing when i met you okay well, you yeah. take one moment and just describe because i didn't know anything about it, the numbers that are on not all of them have but if you take a moment to just talk about that because that was brand new to me and i've never been able to even talk about it yeah well i'm learning them too i'm just learning them too so all the discs have different numbers as a starter you should really start throw low numbers like a putter or whatever but when you get up in these higher numbers you really got to have the arm speed for these and there's you have a uh you know your first number being the speed of the disc and then your your second number being the flight and your last two numbers are your the ways uh that the disc will end up turning um so it just uh the, every disc has them and like that they come from putters to mid-range to drivers and uh it's been fun learning the different numbers on the disc, throwing them forehanded. When I get a good throw uh, forehanded, you can actually, it's pretty cool to actually watch the actual numbers on the disc and actually how the, the disc flies. Um, it's, it's really cool to see. I used yeah. to coach um, my son in uh, AAU baseball and we were in travel baseball a lot. It was very intense baseball year round, all week long, every weekend we were in tournaments, but like, I, I used to play baseball when I was younger and uh, played high school ball and was a pitcher as well. And my son was a pitcher. And so I threw a lot of baseballs to my kids in the baseball cage. And I probably throw 500 baseballs a day um, just to these kids in batting practice. And uh, yeah, so I just took that baseball throw because I, I obviously throw the kids all different kind of change-ups, curveballs, just, you know, whatever I could throw to just kind of shake them up. But I had a different varieties of throws that I would make to them. And uh, I just one day was out here playing and uh, was literally right here on the 11th hole here. And I was like, well, let me let me just try to throw this disc forehand like, like I basically throw a baseball. 
And man, I just went out there like just just an easy step and throw, and man, that thing flew farther than I've ever thrown a disc before. And like I, I'm like from that day forward, I just I've been I've been hooked. <laughs> I've been trying to still keep my backhand game, but my forehand game from just converting over from like throwing a baseball has just been amazing. I uh, never thought that that would turn out to be like that, but it really works to your advantage if you're a ball player and have thrown a ball. You don't necessarily have to be a pitcher just to be able to, you know, play ball and throw a ball. That will work to your advantage in a forehand. Um, so give it a try. <laughs> man, like what's your plans with disc golf, man? Yeah. And what would you tell others that maybe have never heard of it or maybe now they're hearing about it and they're interested? What would you tell them? Like, what would you do? Say, Listen, I would just say come and give it a shot. This has been one of the best, funnest games I probably have ever done. I wish I had picked this game up 20 years ago. I really do. I wish I would have. I've heard about it many years ago, but I just, you know, I never really gave it thought to come out and play. And it's just been, it has just been amazing, man. It has really just fit right in my little circle. Like, I, it's just been my thing. I, I like it. I wish I would have picked it up a long time ago. But listen, I'll be playing for a long time. I play with a group of guys, 74-year-old and 80-year-old, and I hope they inspire me every time I come out and play. And I hope that I'm continuing playing by them by the, by the time they're their age. And, uh, and by God, I hope to get a few more aces by then. But, uh, yeah, it's a blast. Come out and try it. Um, you'll be hooked. You'll be hooked. It just comes out a few times to come out and try it. It's just a, it's enjoying. It's relaxing. Uh, come out, play you a little bit of relaxing music while you're playing, and uh, have a good time. It's a blast. It's always been a wonderful interaction. Everybody's so polite, so kind. Everybody's just out here having a good time. Yeah, yeah, it's been amazing. Like, I, I literally just moved up here from Tampa like a year and a half ago, and I was just out here playing one morning and came across to some guys and uh, actually met this one guy, and he introduced me to a group of guys. And now it's it's been great, man. I, I've met a bunch of people out here. I've met more people out here on this this golf course within the last two months than I've met in Gainesville in almost the two years I've been here. It's been amazing. There's a great group of guys that I play with. Um, Bob, which is uh, Bob, he's a, he's a sponsor on hole number three. I played with that guy. He's our 80-year-old, man, and he's out here just killing it. Plays two rounds with us, and it's just been – it's been great. I'm with a group of about 10, 20 guys. Uh, we don't all play at the same time, but we have a little group message. We message each other, meet each other out here when we can. It's just been great. It's been a blast. I, I love all the guys that I play with. They've been so encouraging to me, helping me with my game. And like, I, I never could have got the ace on uh, hole number three the other day if it wasn't for the group of guys that I play with. Like they, they literally have inspired me to keep to playing this game and I'm having a blast doing it, man. And I, I, I encourage everybody to come out and give it a shot. It's just been, it's been great for me. And hopefully it can do the same for you. Stay Dang. tilted, brother. <laughs>